Welcome to the Revere Veterans Corner, sponsored by the Revere Veterans Service and the Revere Allied Veterans Council. Today we have two special guests, Al Terminello and Lenny Piazza. And we're going to do a program on the wall that heals that will be coming to Revere on June the 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th, which would be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The wall that heals is dedicated to the 58,282 Americans that gave their lives for freedom in the Vietnam War. And before we start our program, we would like to show you a small video about the Vietnam Wall. So, please. My name is Dan Shank. I'm a program manager for the Wall of Heels. And essentially, the Wall of Heels is a traveling replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Um, it's a unique exhibit because it's not only a half scale replica of the wall, but it's also a museum. Um, the trailer acts as a component for people to interact with to learn more about the uh, names that exist on the wall. Um, it also acts as a way for children as well as the general public to learn more about the war, um, to, to try and educate the public as much as we can. Um, and then the wall obviously is the, um, the quintessential part of the exhibit because it's where people can visit the names, um, see them, um, interact with them, and learn as much as they can about the people. We're building a center down on the National Mall. Uh, it's a very unique structure where we will have faces to go along with the names of the wall. Um, so we've begun a process to find uh, 58,260 pictures to go along with all the names that exist on the wall. Um, and what the center will do is display those pictures to see uh, the face that goes along with each name to provide more of a human background to each name. Um, and this trailer, what we'll do is just a small piece of a few of those pictures, um, which we will then be able to take to the public and show what we're trying to do. Welcome back to the Wall That Heals now. We have two people here who are going to give you a brief history about the wall. And Mr. Piazza, would you please be the first one to start off, and then you can share the reading with Mr. Terminello. Thank you. Coming to Revere on its nationwide tour, the wall will be on display from June 13th through the 16th in the large field behind the Beachmont VFW, which is located at 150 Bennington Street. Visitors are welcome around the clock during this time. Opening ceremonies will be held on site on June 13th at 5 p.m. and closing ceremonies same place on June 16th at 5 p.m. There will be an information tent on site and rubbing supplies for visitors will be available along with the location of names by computer-based information. I'm all set. Uh, well, talking about a little history of the wall. Uh, it was created by John Devitt in 1982, and it's an exact replica of the wall that's in Washington, D.C. Uh, it takes up plenty of room. It spans over 300 feet. And then the first time that this original wall that heals was viewed was in Texas in 1984. Uh, there's two other walls that also tour, but we have the original one of the wall that heals that will be here. And... Um, it, this, is, uh, this whole project is uh, chaired by the Revere Veterans Agent, Nick Boa, who works very closely with all the veterans in the city of Revere. As in, anybody that's, that's a veteran or a family of a veteran knows that uh, Nick does a tremendous job. And also through the uh, combined efforts of all the, uh, the, the uh, uh, veteran groups here in Revere. Uh, to name a few, I'll name them all actually, is the American Legion, the Beachmont VFW, the Matola Post, the Revere Veterans Committee, the Jewish War Veterans, and we're getting some special help from the uh, Patriots Club of Revere, the Revere Moose, and the Revere Elks, along with the uh, Point of Pines Yacht Club. And, and uh, always, always helpful is the Revere Senior Center, absolutely. Um, we're here to talk about some of the things that we need to do um, to make preparation for the wall to show up. It's, not, it's, it's, it's an expensive proposition, it um, costs the city about five thousand dollars up front, and there's a several three, but need another two to four thousand dollars in expenses uh, to be going along with that. It's an honor to have the wall here. 
and uh, it's a tribute to those uh, veterans uh, from Vietnam that uh, that fortunately came back to us, and we did we did lose quite a few, but it's a tribute to everybody, and, and uh, I I think this will be a, a good thing for everybody, um, and we expect a lot of people, you know, from different communities because Revere being a, a hub community from through East Boston and Saugus and Medford, Malden. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll have a good turnout, and uh, it's a good chance for Revere to put their foot forward to our, for our veterans. I'd like to um, add to the uh, comments that Al has uh, made, is that the cost of hosting the event is initially based on, uh, on a, a deposit of uh, $5,000, which is being forwarded by the VFW in Beachmont, which would uh, uh, begin, which will be uh, further adjusted uh, as we uh, receive contributions from many people who participate in this program. We, the committee, are looking for volunteers to help out over the four-day visitation of the wall that heals. Hundreds of visitors are expected from around the area and will require some type of assistance in all aspects. We need to show these visitors that Revere is a welcoming community and proud of their veterans. Anyone interested in or having any questions, please call Nick Bohr um, during normal working hours at 781-286-8119. That's, that's true, Lenny. Um, I, I think one of the most interesting, uh, most important things, actually, right now that we do need is volunteers. Exactly. Uh, it's open around the clock. We're going to have our opening ceremony that Thursday at 5 p.m., and the closing ceremony will be on Sunday, the 16th, uh, the night, whatever the date, yeah, the 16th, isn't it the 16th? Yep. The 16th Sunday. at 5 p.m., and all during that time, for 24 hours, anybody can come in and walk through the area. It'll be lit, it'll be secure, there'll be parking, and they will, there will be some people here. So it's a, uh, it's a big effort for those days that the, the wall is here. And uh, so we need security, we need, uh, and again, that's where some of the money's going, we do have to pay for that, uh, just for the security of, of around the clock uh, opening. Uh, and, and we have to put up the uh, people that are bringing the wall in, we have to pay for their expenses, and again, just the cost of the wall. Uh, we, we do need to, uh, but volunteers, uh, there will be people that are going to ha have to maintain those computers. So when they come in, they say they want to know where their cousin was or a certain name. Uh, they come in and, they, and there's um, all those panels that are being put up have names on them. So they'll be able to give them a panel number, a, 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 um, a section, and a, um, a column in numbers how many down. So it's, all, it's an exact science of where that name is. And a lot of families, like I said, we were talking about rubbing uh, uh, supplies. Rubbing supplies is the fact that you take a piece of paper with a, a, a lead and you rub it on the wall and you get the person's name directly right. off the wall as a, as a keepsake. And, and that's, a, that's a very big thing that people do. And also family members um, come in and they lay flowers and put pictures down and wherever else they feel necessary that to pay tribute to the, those who have died. And uh, I, I think it's a, it's a wonderful thing. It's, it's, heart, it's, it's heartbreaking, but it's also part of our American history and our heritage, and I think we should embrace this, and anybody should come out and help wherever they can. Hal, excuse me just for one second. Would you t let them know that the volunteers, to call the Revere Veterans Service, and also to call the Revere Senior Center at their telephone well, number? Well, you give them the I don't know the number of the center okay, offhand. The Revere Senior Center is 781 286 8156. If you're a volunteer or you know volunteers for the Vietnam War, please let us know. Yeah. I'd also like to mention at this point here that, uh, as Al indicated earlier, the opening ceremonies will be held on site on June 13th at 5 p.m. And that will be again at the VFW in Beachmont. Closing ceremonies will also be at the same location on June 16th. But we'll look forward to seeing you on June 13th. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Uh, like I said, it's, um, this is an opportunity for everybody in Revere, I guess, uh, to kind of come out and help out. Uh, I know they need help th that day. Uh, we're going to be giving 
we're gonna hopefully we're gonna be doing another one of these right some final sometimes. details of what you can have to do there might be people that don't know that they're available that time and might just want to show up but we are definitely looking for people to come in and sign up now and commit to uh, some part of the day of those four days of uh, the, the dates that we, we gave you and again that number for Nick which is very important is 781-286-8119 or the senior center Morris 781-286-8156 and thank you Al. Uh, uh, those, those two numbers please uh, make a note of them uh, Lenny and I are here uh, to promote this I, I was asked to, to handle the public relations for this uh, event Lenny's with, uh, help, with the, helping me with that and along with uh, keeping track of the, uh, oh, the wow. finances that are coming in. I'd like to tell you one thing before Lenny reads some more. I've already signed up 10 women from the Revere Senior Center who are willing to volunteer, and I'm going to ask them to, them to get some more volunteers, too. I think well, that's let great. Me, let me mention at this point that in addition to the wonderful uh, assistance we're getting, as Morris just mentioned, the ladies of the VFW, the auxiliary, are very much involved in uh, uh, directing out the, the, the request informational letters to uh, almost 300 uh, locations in the, in the uh, state of Massachusetts, Revere and surrounding communities. Those girls do a, a great job. They, I know they helped me out with the Revere Veterans Services when we do the cer uh, ceremony on, uh, in November. Mm -hmm. They're always the first to take you out, serve people, help people. And again, I, I, they've been at the meetings that we've been having, and uh, they're, they're right on the front line, so to speak, Absolutely. when it comes to uh, you know, doing would, their job. Well, it would be a good idea, too, for us to contact the soldiers' home in Chelsea and see if they can donate some of their people to do some volunteer work. Uh, I, I don't know about people for volunteer work, but maybe they set something up to bring some of their uh, residents down for a, a tour during the daylight hours Good enough. And, and we will and we will be pursuing things like that uh, Lenny mentioned uh, we over 300 letters have been mailed out and I think more are going mm -hmm. uh, and, and asking and again it, there's no dollar amount here it's five dollars fifty dollars five hundred dollars we had a check earlier uh, for a thousand uh, from one of the Vietnam veterans organizations in Boston the amount doesn't matter it's every little bit at the end of this whole thing is the result of what we need to we need to do with collect us to to make this event a success and I know it will be a success and it will be a, a feather in the cap for uh, all the veteran services here in Revere that work hard to, to in some small way give back something to the veterans who gave so much that that are our, that live amongst us in this community this is what this is all about is tribute to veterans they, I this is for the Vietnam vets, but any veteran in this city deserves recognition for their service to this country, to this community. They're, they're the, pride in, the pride of what Revere is all about. Uh, your committee does an excellent job, if I may say so. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to mention something at this point here, that while the exhibit is available to individuals, it's also families. Uh, consider bringing your your youngsters uh, as a uh, information and training and exposure to uh, the the as military aspects of the uh, and the individuals involved. This is a great learning experience for them. Uh, we're also looking forward to working <coughs> with the school department to bring groups of students uh, to visit the wall. And I'll be working on that with uh, Paul Dakin, who is the superintendent of schools. So we'll look forward to that aspect also. Um, that's, that's another great, good point as far as the, the kids are getting involved in this. This is um, a history lesson in the making for them. Uh, might be some kids, their first, uh, first mention of the Vietnam War or whatever it was, uh, and they hear about it, they watch it. There's enough movies about it. I mean, you know, they're, they're not making too many new <laughs> movies about World War II anymore, so they're moving up in the, uh, so they're, they're moving along. So this might be a, a good chance for everybody to see that. And, and it's going to be a good time, too. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not like a, a funeral. This is, a, this is a, a gathering for people in the community to have, to have a, a good a day. 
uh, the weekend that it's here you know, for. I got to tell you, I'm a veteran of World War II. When the Vietnam veterans came home, a lot of them were not honored by the American people at that uh, time. No, this they is weren't. something that is long overdue, and I would like to apologize for the people that did not do that. But I, as a World War II veteran, am proud to honor them. And I hope everyone out there does the same. Yeah, there weren't too many ticker tape parades when uh, the I Vietnam didn't see won. one. Yeah, no, there weren't. What, uh, we, what we're going to find here is that youngsters uh, and young teenagers, never mind, I don't mean real young, young teenagers um, hear uh, the words Vietnam and, and the war, or the Vietnam War. And it doesn't really mean um, that they uh, understand what it's all about. And by coming to the memorial wall, putting their, their hands on the wall, uh, doing a rubbing, we supply, we'll be supplying paper and crayon to do the rubbings. It's really going to make an impression on them and a terrific learning experience. We look forward to their participation. Yep, and uh, unfortunately, like we mentioned this several times, it costs money. Mm -hmm. um, Lenny, I'm going to um, just you know, kind of lead you into what we're going to talk about as far as how people can come out and, and make their donations. Um, with bank, there's a bank account set up for that, and um, Lenny will uh, kind of okay. talk to you a little bit about that, and because that's his uh, that's his thing right here, and then we'll go kind of go back right into any type of the rest of what we have to talk about today. All right, what I'd like to mention is that at the wall itself there will be containers where people who visit uh, uh, youngsters' families uh, would like to make a donation uh, during their visit. They're certainly uh, able to do that. Now, uh, the, for the, the funds that we require to, to keep this program uh, viable, uh, multiple organizations are, uh, uh, should, can step up to help us financially. And checks can be mailed directly to the TD Bank North on Broadway Revere. Make the checks uh, payable to the wall that heals. If you would like to make other arrangements for that, we would be happy to pick up checks. Or you could call Nick Boa, and we, we will give his number again. He is the Veterans Administrator, and he will make arrangements to pick up your donation. Uh, I personally would make myself available to anyone who would like to participate in this program. And while I might be, I hope I'm not stepping on anyone else's toes, but uh, my phone number at home is 781-284-1362. And if I'm not there, you can leave a message, and I would be very uh, 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 willing to, to help any, one, and any, one and all who, who may have some questions and would need some assistance in, in this program. Thank you. Well, that's uh, pretty much well said. And, uh I'm going to throw my number out there. It's all over everything else. It's 781-244-7430. 781-244-7430. That's my cell phone. You can reach me at any time. Questions? You want me to pick up a check if you don't like mailing checks out? You want to, have a, you, you want to ask me anything you want? You want to volunteer? You don't have a ride? I'm going to be around to help. Uh, myself, I, I am totally committed to the veterans of this community and surrounding communities, if anybody knows the work that I've done. But basically, I, I want you to know that I'm in, in this wholeheartedly, and if I can help you get involved into this project that costs the city of Riviera, please give me a call, or Lenny, Nick. There's all kinds of information that will be available. There's uh, rides, there's whatever it takes, but we do need help, all kinds, financial, physical, and so telling your friends about this. They might, in, in other communities that might that won't see this program, and might not know it's coming, but we're, we're very much uh, thankful for the Advocate newspaper and the Revere Journal. They're both um, on board with giving us all the uh, room we need for our advertisement, which is a, a great thing. Lenny, since you were mentioning money, 
I believe you have a check from one of the veteran organizations yourself for a thousand dollars there that was given to yes me. already deposited you already deposited you're way ahead of me I have two checks here one is from James Mitchell from the Rivera Advocate who was here before who made a promise to donate a check of one hundred dollars and this is for you Lenny for the wall by nah, heels that's what I'm talking about the Advocate newspaper a wonderful uh, check for a hundred dollars to the wall that heals thank you very much Jim Mitchell Right, and here's one from the Revere Allied Veterans Council. Another check for $100. And this oh, is hey. another check for $100. They're the made up, oh, excuse me, Lenny. They are made up of the organization, veteran organization of Revere, with me as the president of Revere. Yeah. President, uh, they're no uh, president. <laughs> You're doing but, a fine job, and I want to add that anyway, right now. But it's uh, an honor to present this to you, Lenny. Well, all I'm, right. <laughs> uh, I see that it's endorsed by uh, Nick Jacoby and Morris Morris. Right. We can so have the two of us got to sign <laughs> There you go. A couple of, I have those checked. Just check <laughs> Thank you very much, Morris. Well, Revere like Allied Veterans Council, another $100. Thank you very much. You are the publicist for the uh, wall that heals. Let yeah. us know what you're going to do, what you're doing. Okay. Um, basically... Uh, to kind of close this up. Not yet. Not but, yet. But <laughs> uh, as far as the, what we have going on, I will be in touch with the, um, the, the Revere Journal, the, Re the Revere Advocate, and their associated papers in other communities that they're also um, on board with uh, processing this information as it comes out. There will be an ad running again with the information that Lenny just gave you about the uh, checks being mailed directly to the TD Bank North. So that will be running in all the papers uh, in the surrounding communities. So uh, people who might want to contribute outside of Revere because of family members, friends, and, or just because they feel that it's a necessary cause, uh, we'll be we doing that. Uh, we're, several stories have been written already. Uh, there'll, be other, there'll be other blurbs and stories and things like that coming up over the next uh, couple of months. I know this program is very important, and I want to, I want to take this time to thank Revere TV. Uh, they, they're great here. I, I, these, uh, the guys that uh, do this, Bob Dunbar, is uh, unbelievable uh, how, we, how much he puts, an effort he puts into doing these programs and, and helping everybody. I know it's his job, but then there's people who do their job and enjoy it and make, make more of their job, and he's truly one of those guys. So Revere TV and their whole staff, I, I, and again, I, uh, Rick Promise, and everybody that's part Don't forget of this. Sergio Leone. Sergio. No, I mean, no. I, I, you start naming names, this is what happens. The three of them. But uh, they do a wonderful job, and they're bringing this information there. And I know that they're, I don't even have to think about how much coverage you're going to have during those days of when the wall is here officially. So... Um, this is a this like I say. This is a very big part of how we're you read. going to be getting you information. So please keep keep track of the times, and we're going to be doing an update on this. Ah, uh, this is what I like to talk to you about, if I may. What I would like to do, if it's possible, to have a telethon on sometimes in May. Yeah. Have the people that we honor the Vietnam come up here, and people to even come up here and make a donations and say, when we will say thank you to them right here on television. We can do that. I think, I think that's a terrific idea. Maybe we, we'll get, I, I know we can raise a few bucks and get some, a few things here. We can put coffee and pastry out here for people. And, exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. And get some of our vets, I mean, just to be up here and say thanks to them. Uh, right. And, and I, make I, a small donation. I, I think that's a wonderful idea, And we would Mara. personally thank them for And I think that's probably why we elected you president. No, but mm. I would like to, no. I would like Read to that. do something about uh, which has nothing to do with the wall that heals, but this is from the Revere Senior Center. We wrapped some packages last Christmas where Lenny was helping, yep. where your mother was helping, your father was helping, God bless them. And we received Thank the God letter. I have to go over and yell at him. No, don't. <laughs> we, <laughs> we received a letter from the Sergeant Jose Lopez from Afghanistan. And this is what he wrote, and I'd like to read this to the folks out there. We have just received a care package from the city of the Revere Senior Center. I want to send you our deepest thanks from the Marines of 3 LAR Motor Transport Platoon. Most of the Marines here have not yet received any packages from home yet, and this has lifted their spirits. So I want to thank you from the bottom of our heart, Sergeant Lopez, Mill Transport Chief, COP Payne, Helamont Province, Afghanistan. 
this is the kind of letter that we get from our troops from overseas. Hey, Not hey. only from Afghanistan, from Iraq we got them. And uh, that is thanks to the senior citizens and the veterans of Revere. They, we have one of the most active senior centers for veterans that I, and believe me, I know I'm talking firsthand because, because of my job, I'm in every community and I work very closely with a lot of senior centers, but believe me when I tell you, it's, my hat's off to, to the Revere Senior Center because they are by far the best. I agree with you. And I, will I would like to also thank Al Morelli, who is in charge of the Revere uh, Senior Center, because Al does an admirable job and helps uh, uh, in the participation of all of these activities. Well, without him, without his blessing, None of this happens anyway, so I get he's it. on board with all of this. From one out to another out, I, when I started with the Operation Troop Support many years ago, I asked Al Morelli if it was okay. He said, go ahead. The minute he gave me to go ahead, things started to blossom. I and mean, you can see what's been happening in the city of Revere. Thanks to what you do for the Revere Veterans Committee, what he does with the Beachmont VFW. And by the way, I did not mention that, but Lenny is also a World War II veteran. Yes. So, Lenny, thank you. And Lenny, Get out of here. See, how long do I know Lenny? Let me see. I'm 59, and I knew him the year before I was born. I'll be 85 in July, but Al, I got to thank you. You do a fantastic job, really. You and uh, Ira Novoselsky, every summer, Who? yeah. Ira. <laughs> Novoselsky. Yeah. Oh, you don't know Ira? No, I <laughs> haven't met him yet. Well, he's head of the Rabia Council yeah, and, right now. Yeah, yeah, he's <laughs> right. Tremendous <laughs> man, a very good friend. Oh, you got to forgive me. Yeah. I don't have much of a sense. I, of I know, I know. I just, <laughs> but I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. My for pleasure, what you Morris. Do. And you, I want to thank you for no, being no, a veteran. We, too. We, uh, right. But again, I, I, one more just a thank you because <laughs> the, the Allied Veterans Council elected Morris president. Um, and, he's, and that's kind of a combination of all the veterans. Uh, uh, organizations in Revere coming together and, and working for common co common uh, goals as well as their own individual uh, things and uh, we put Morris in charge of it and uh, he's done a great job so Morris Thank you. on behalf of all of us you've done a great job as our first president because it's a brand new it was our first time we ever did this so you are the first president just no like George Washington can never, <laughs> can never take that away from you but it, it's it's an honor and a pleasure and uh, again uh, people citizens of Revere. Let's also thank Bob Dunbar, who is the director of Revere yeah. TV, who has assisted us admirably to get this program together. And he puts and, up with us a lot. And to put up oh, with us. Before we close, i got to say this. Mr. Bob Dunbar, I came up here one time to ask him a question. That's all I was here for. No, there's a mistake. No, that was... <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> anyway, he said, how about starting a veteran show? And I says, well, you know, Nick Bull mentioned it. And I, I says, I don't know, who do you want? He says, why don't you start it off? I said, okay. You think it'll catch on? I think it's caught on pretty oh, good. Oh, all right. I think, no, we've got a lot of donations. And by the way, before we close, I got to say this for the Senior Center. Lois Diamond does a lot of work making blankets for the veterans of the soldiers home and sending them overseas. She's looking for Jan. Any color yarn that you can give her and donate it, drop it off at the Senior Center, 25 Winthrop Avenue. So now before we close, I would like to thank the people out there for listening. God bless our troops. God bless the people of Revere. God bless the United States of America. And I want to thank you, Al, for coming. Morris, and you, Lenny, for coming. Always and thank you all for listening. Thank you, Morris.